up, guys? How's it going? We're gonna we're streaming today. I'm just sorry. I'm just checking something. I upgraded my internet. That's that's how it became. I was having issues with some streams before, and the couple streams earlier. So I decided to upgrade my internet. So now we're streaming um, full 1080p, 60 frames at 12 up. So it's it's nice, smooth connection. Which is good. And I upgraded my internet way excessively above that. I'm just watching it now. I just want to make sure it, it's okay. But it seems seems decent, knock on wood. But yeah, I was having too many issues. So I was like, guys, let's just, let's just upgrade the internet. And just have much better internet, right? You know what I'm saying? So that that's what my thought was. Let's just do it with better internet. And now it seems to be a lot better. Make an ejection seat. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's, that's what the objective is for today. So the plan, I, I want to use this kind of seat layout, I think. this I think this looks nice and compact. You know, we've got the double glass panels. And then this is because we have to, I'm using the mod pack. I have to use the wings mod, obviously, because I want it to fly. We need the wings mod. Uh, and then I'm just using the mod pack because when I make planes, I like to use the smart engines to do the controls because it's like super clean and super easy. Um, and so with the mod pack, there's also this like, too wide racing seat so i figured we can use that for the jet oh i'm stuck we can use that for the jet and then we'll just build this whole glass thing to come like shooting off and then i mean the glass has to be able to open as well but then we also need it to shoot off when we eject and then the seat gets launched out so we're gonna build that mechanism first and then worry about putting a jet around it i'm not gonna build the jet at all until we have the ejection seat mechanism working is that a beard i see yeah i haven't shaved in a while guys it's not it's i'm not i don't like facial hair very much like i mean if you want to grow out a beard yourself go for it i don't like my own facial hair i find it's i just i just haven't shaved i've been lazy why why um upgrade my internet because like it's better now the glass should go back instead of flying off Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you when a plane ejects, though, the glass goes shooting off. I mean, when the, when you want to get in and out of the plane, the glass, it tips up usually on a hinge, doesn't it? Or, like, it slides or something. But when you want to... Yeah, it slides back, doesn't it? Or slides forward. Maybe when you want to, like, get out. But when you want to eject, the glass just gets launched off. They don't... The glass doesn't, like, slide back slowly and then it ejects. Right? Pretty sure, pretty sure the glass gets completely launched. Can you play Subnautica? I've played Subnautica. I haven't played the new, um, what's the new Subnautica? The like below zero update or something. I haven't done that before, but I've definitely played the uh, the existing one. You should play Tracks. It's a fun game. Yeah, don't worry. We have no excessive spam. We've got um, slow mode on for five seconds, so you can only message every five seconds, anyways. All right, just keep an eye on some stats. But, all right, so anyways, let's, let's work on the ejection mechanism. So my thought is that it's going to tip up to open so that, like, if you want to get in the jet, the whole glass just tips up and tips down. It just makes life easier. And then when it ejects, it's going to blast it off that way. That's my plan. So I'll show you guys how I'm thinking of doing that. And, like, hopefully we can make it work. Apparently my cat's, like, running across my house. Um... So, this is how I'm going to do this part. Hold on, we're going to bearing. Get a controller. Right, like that. And then... That's that. So, this is like our tip up controller. I mean, for now, we'll just put a switch over here. But this is the idea, right? We'll worry about the logic later. Uh, and then set this to like 30. And then to de decouple... Wow, I struggled to say that one. Holy cow. Um... Where's the decouple? I need this. I need a button to decouple as well. I need a button. And need... Maybe a timer? Possibly. But where's the decoupler? Definitely need that. This... Okay. So we put this here. And then we put this... On that. And then we go like this. And set that to like that. And then the theory is that if both of these are hooked in 
at the same time. Let's just save this real quick. And then I'm gonna... Sorry, guys. I'm gonna... Why do I pay my bearings black? Okay, everybody always asks me this. And I didn't do it in the challenge video. And I got so many comments where everyone was like, Oh my god, you didn't paint your bearings. Okay, here's the thing. Look, if you have any creation, right? And I, I always say this. And everyone keeps always asking me. They think I'm crazy. But like, look. You have a creation. Like, let's say this car. Right? This is with black bearings. You don't really notice them. They don't blend in. But if you have it with orange bearings and you put a wheel on it, right? I mean, okay, maybe you don't really notice it, but you kind of notice it. You see how you see that? You see that like orange sticking out? I think that looks stupid. The orange sticking out. That's the literally the only reason. Because like, I don't know. It's just, I see it and I'm just like, ugh. So then I just paint the black and then that way you don't see that little stupid. See, now it blends in. And even if you don't paint your wheels, it still kind of blends in there, right? Literally the only reason. I know everyone always asks me, and I didn't do it in the, uh, check the cockpit in first person. I mean, I think it looks okay, doesn't it? Maybe, hold on. Why is that not going down? Oh, that's because I didn't set anything. Yeah, that's not good. Hold on. I mean, it's a little tall. But I think if I lower it, the guy's head's going to stick out. Like, hold on. We can try this. Which side is the good side? This side, right? Yeah, like, I'm 99% I'm sure the dude's head's gonna stick out on this. I mean, if it doesn't, great, but I think it will. Yeah, see, like, look, that looks, that looks silly. I mean, in first person, this looks way better, but that, that just looks dumb. So, we're gonna, we're gonna put it back up. And there's no, like, in-between block, either. It's either the lower... Hold on a sec. That was a phone call, but I'm not gonna answer it. Just give me a sec. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's just, just, not just family stuff. Use a parachute from the wings mod. Yeah, uh, for sure. On the seat itself, there's going to be some extra stuff. Um. So I think this is going to work, guys. Angle the cockpit window. What, do you, like, angle it downwards? Hmm. You mean, like, 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 on a permanent, but then it won't be, ugh, this is, this is really, should use, open it to get in and out. Um, like, you mean, like, a permanent angle like this? I mean, then we could put it lower, but then the problem is, how do you make it flush with the rest of the fighter jet? I guess you have to build the fighter jet up around the cockpit window then. Yeah, I mean, you could have it lower and set it at an angle, but then that you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to have the, can, can we, can we? Like, you'd have to build up the fighter jet around it. All right, yeah, we'll do that. It'll look better. Oh my goodness, this is really bad. Can we, can we please, can we, can we, what the, this is like the worst thing to build with. All right, that. Probably doesn't need to be much of an angle. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't stick out there. That actually looks a lot better in first person too. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so let's save this real quick because then I want to test something I 
And then, like, the one button's hooked into this thruster and this decoupler. So, in theory... Like, see, that, that almost works. And then all we need to do... Because the thruster instantly shuts off when it's disconnected from the, the seat itself. So all we need to do is just crank that thruster up to, like, some stupid ridiculous... Like, let's go complete max. See, that's awesome. Then just That way it'll just fling off and, like, you know, wherever it goes is where it goes, right? That I think that's great. It kind of does some weird spinning stuff because the thruster's not centered. But I think that's, like, perfect. And then we, of course, need a delay on the actual seat itself, so that gets ejected off first, right? And then everything else goes. Like, that looks sweet. It's gone. There's no way that glass is getting in the way. Have I played Brick Rigs yet? No, I well, I have before. I haven't really played Brick Rigs in a long time. Um, I built a few things with it a long, long time ago, but I never really played it since then. Um, like, a long time ago. The game's changed so much. Make the window blow up after ejection so you don't collect trash. Make the jet explode. Okay, so I want to make the jet... I think making the jet explode when you eject would be really, really cool. Like, have a delay on it and then have it explode. I don't know how to make the window explode because we'd have to strap TNT to it and it would have to be like right in the middle and I don't think I don't think there's enough room for that um, let's worry about the seat first though and then we'll deal with blowing stuff up so I need this to go over here because I need I need the space under the seat to be free which is all this space in here And then we'll just put this up on like a kind of a little bit of a stand for now. Okay. And then we basically have to do the same kind of idea under where the seat is. Um, do the same kind of open section. We need to put a bearing. Although this needs to be like in the middle. Hold on, if we put a thruster on the side, though, in the middle, it's going to eject it sideways. Your creations are so cool. Thanks, man. He took my suggestion. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been saying to do some sort of a ejection seat thingy. And yeah, it is a live stream, Matthew. Not a, not a premiere. I know, the premiere feature confuses people so much because they literally just made it look like a live stream that's not a live stream, and it's just the most confusing thing in the world. Um... But this is an actual live stream. Now, here's here's the thing, because the thruster is going to be offset. It's not going to be centered. I just got rid of it. But it's not going to be centered, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem. It means you might always eject sideways. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Or I guess we put two thrusters, one in each corner, and then it'll eject straight. That's actually... That's actually... Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. So we do this, and then this is the hard part. Like, how do you build this? Okay, actually, hold on, hold on. We can just delete this for now. Don't need... Oh, no, we do. We need this connected. Shoot. Um, okay, I got it. Put one of these down. Go like that. Grab this. Flip it. Right? Put one there, one there. Actually, I want to do this with even smaller thrusters because it'll look cooler. Shouldn't need more than that. And then we need a parachute on it. Where's the parachute? Drogue chute. The big box. Uh, I can go there. Sorry, I'm just I'm just thinking about the logic side of things. Okay, so I think I think what we do is we have a bit that activates when you eject, and you click that, and it does the ejection sequence because there's going to be a timer required, uh, and there's going to be that's pretty much it. I don't know if this is actually going to work. And then what about the shoot? 
Well, I guess the chute should be on its own button. So we have to have a button mounted under that seat to pull the chute. Which we obviously don't have. Because I forgot to put it in there. You know what? Let's just test this first. And oh, Actually, hold on. We can get a button in there. Um, uh, this one? Okay, that one's safe. Actually, it probably needs to be a switch, doesn't it? No, it's a button, right? I don't even know. Let's just try it as a button first. Okay. How are those going to eject, though? Those are probably going to have to be on their own timer. Or their own memory bit, so they always stay... Because they need to stay on for longer. Parachute on the back. Put the chute on the back. Put the chute... Everyone's just saying shoot on the back, right? Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put the parachute on the back. Does it... Can I just mount it to the back, do you think? Do you think this mod pack actually lets... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's super cool. You can actually just clip it right onto the seat. Yeah, well, I feel... Okay, okay, well, let's let's fix this up. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. We can put all the controls on the back, too. What? Okay. I screwed up. Maybe. Ah, uh, maybe not. I hate how much um You know, I've been I've been playing, sorry. I've been I've been playing a lot in Stormworks recently and uh Stormworks has an undo button and it's like the one thing that I really wish Scrap Mechanic had cuz an undo button would be awesome. There'd be literally so much you can do with it. Um, here's how we're going to do this. That needs to be on this side, right? There we go. So this is going to be, this is what's going to power these two thrusters. And then this will all work out. That timer. Perfect. Okay, so then the ejection sequence activates a memory bit. Which is just going to be this. Where is my memory bit? Perfect. Drogue shoot on the back. Hopefully that doesn't get caught. Bow, 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 bow. I hate having so many mods because you can't see all the stuff. Alright. First of all, hi. Wouldn't it be better to use a spud gun launcher but with modded one block guns? You mean to disconnect? Or for to create the power, you mean? I mean, you could. I mean, thrust, I feel like, is going to be cool, though. Just have some rockets that blast it out. But yeah, I guess you could do it with, like, a bunch of spud guns underneath and have it just shoot the whole seat off if you want. Um, but I think this will work. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Um, we'll put this on that. I can't tell if this is on or not. That's kind of useless. It's a memory block, so it's one tick activates and deactivates it, but we can't see anything, so hold on. There we go. Perfect. It's like it's like triple XOR memory is all it is, except with a with a block. So that'll be our eject. Um I kinda wanna do this with triple XOR actually, because then it gets reset on the lift. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Gonna do some old school logic here. So that makes more sense. So we'll just go boom, boom, boom. And we'll put the button down here. And we'll go XOR, XOR, XOR. Wire, wire, wire. Wire, wire, wire. There we go. Does WTF mean, well, that's fantastic? Absolutely. 100%. Um. I was trying to think of another clever acronym, but I actually can't think of any right now. Okay, so that's going to activate. That's going to charge up that timer, which, of course, I can't see because the creation's underneath there. Um, so there's going to be, like, a delay on ejecting. I don't know how much I like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be very long.
Look, can I, can I, can I get up here? Like, quarter of a second? And that quarter of a second delay can actually be the same delay before the seat blasts off. So it'll be a quarter, it'll shoot the glass off and then it'll be a quarter second and then the seat will go off. Uh, and then this triggers that detection. Actually, we don't even need that. Hold on, we just need this one here. That one to trigger it. Because then it'll disappear. That's for... Okay, I think I think this is going to work, guys. I think this is going to be the ejection seat version 1. Uh... Crap. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Two. Right, so that that's the normal operation of the glass. Open, close, open, close... And then if you press 1, uh, what, what am I, no, 1 is the parachute. I don't want the parachute. Press 3. Okay, hold on. This is getting too complicated already. I don't even know why you'd need an ejection seat, Scrap Mechanic, but I guess if you're, I mean, I guess if you get shot down. Alright, 1. That's, that, whoops. Okay. So that's 1, 2, and then 3. I mean, it works. It, it it technically works. It does eject you out. That's awesome. I mean, I can't believe I can't believe it works. I, that's that's so great. That's actually fantastic. I gotta I gotta tweak that a little bit. A little bit more thrust power, I think, on the EC. This could be fantastic. This could be so cool. Put in a build. I mean, yeah, it's definitely going to backflip for days. There's, there's going to be backflipping happening. For sure. For sure, hands down. Hold on, guys. I'm going to change something real quick on my stream settings. This is going to stop stream for like two seconds. You guys might not even notice. Hold on. All right. All right. We should be back. You guys, can we... Hold on. Let me check. Are we back? Right, we should be back. Yeah, we're back. Okay, we're good. All right, so um, I want to change some of these stress values. Sorry, my stream, it was just doing something weird. Like OBS was not having a good time. So I just decided to change it a little bit and put it back. Should be fine now though. Just had to change a setting that I couldn't uh, couldn't change without loot deleting OBS. Okay, so there we go. So that's one, that's two. And like, if we crank that one up a little bit, and that one up a little bit, we can leave actually that open for now. Let's just do ejection C. I just want to test and see if we can kind of remove the backflips. The backflips I think are happening because there's this stuff on the back. Um, here we go, three. That's so cool. And then one. That shoot does nothing. Why did that? That shoot was, like, literally useless. I don't understand. Do I need more height? Like, is it... Whoa, what the heck happened to my stream quality? Hold on.
Okay, hold on, hold on. If I refresh... Is it Steam? Or is it me? Steam? Oh no. Okay, try refreshing. Yeah. I, I think that was YouTube, guys. It's not, like, my internet's fine. I was just checking stuff, and it's like, OBS is fine. You Like, my internet's fine. Hasn't dropped any frames or anything, so I don't, I don't understand what that was. It might just be YouTube server dying. I, I honestly don't know. I wish, I wish I could tell you. But anyways, I think it's, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that was. Like, I, I checked my internet and stuff, and it, it was all okay. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, um... Adjust the back thruster again. I don't know why this, the the shoot doesn't work. Okay, so that's awesome. Does some side flips now. But how does this... Like, the shoot doesn't do anything. Or is it just too long on the delay? I don't know. Okay, it flips sideways too much. So we gotta balance that a little bit better. I got an idea for that, too. Gotta delete this. Yeah, refresh, guys. You should be you should be fine if you refresh. I'm I'm watching it too. And like it's it's okay. Like I'm watching my bitrate and stuff. It's just it, it's some with YouTube. I'm telling you. I, I don't think it's anything to do with me, because, like, my internet's fine, and my stream is fine. Like, the, the upload bitrate is fine. I think it's something with YouTube servers. But, yeah, if it starts to lag, you just refresh, and then it seems to go away. Um, here's the idea. You put another thruster there, and put it, like, super low. And then another one here. Uh, poop. 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 I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, that's why. So, uh, let's just hold on. We're just gonna put four thrusters, and then by manipulating the thrust of each one, we should be able to make it go up straight, right? That's hopefully how it'll work. Can we, can we flip forward, please? Okay. There we go. Put some side braces on it. Whoops. I mean, I'm not expecting it to go perfectly straight up, but I don't want it to do, like, uncontrollable flips. That's not bad. That's pretty close. Okay, we deploy the shoot, but it doesn't, doesn't do any- Like, look, the shoot doesn't do anything. <laughs> is it- Is it supposed to do something? Or is- Do I have to force the direction? Is that- My face cam is off sync. Is it? I mean, it shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know how my face cam is off sync. Literally, OBS says I've dropped zero frames since I restarted it, and it's using 3.1% of my CPU. So I don't understand how my face cam is out of sync. It's because it's upside down, right? Like that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking it has to be because it's upside down. But okay, so let's let's put some blocks on the front of the seat here just to test the weight and see what this does. I mean, obviously a lot of front flips. Oh yeah, you're right. It's directional. Are you serious? So the parachute has to be in the right direction. It only slows down in the one direction. And it doesn't work with gravity. That sucks. So we have to make sure that the ejection seat is actually always pointed down. How the heck are we going to do that?
You have to put a wing in the right direction. Force the direction. You'll have to boost for longer. Could just add wings. Okay, everyone's just saying add wings. You know what? You're probably all right. Okay, so where do we... How do we do this with the wings? Where is the... Where are my wings? The small wings, right? Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Where is it? Where is the tiny one? This one, right? This super small one? And like... Like, what if we... If we put these on the back... What'll that do? I mean, that, that forces it because the wings create drag. So I think that's actually the way to do it. Because the wings on the back will create drag on the back, and then it'll pull the whole thing up, and then we can use the chute in combination with the wings. I think that's what we need. Let's try this again. Um. Drag block. You have to deploy the parachute faster. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I mean, ideally we'd eject at actual altitude and height. But anyways, uh, here we go. Three. Deploy the parachute. It's so hard to tell if it works or not because we're not really at height. Okay, I have an idea. What mod am I missing? What? Just use the mod pack. Oh, minis mod. Dang it, I used minis mod for that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get Minis mod. Yes, I want to exit. Load. Load. Where's Minis mod? Minis mod. Minis mod. What? What do you mean, ID conflict? This is that stupid, oh, this is that stupid conflict between the mod pack and the wings pack. And it keeps coming up, even though it's not actually a conflict. <sighs> this is so dumb. It's so, it's so dumb. Yes. Watch, it's still not going to work. Oh my. It's like the ultimate ridiculous. So I can't, I can't, literally can't load that world anymore. Listen. Have to put the volume on full to have good volume? Okay, I can crank that up. Hold on, there we go. Let me crank up my mic. Let me crank up this a little bit. Okay, let me move my mic closer. Is that is that better for you? Isn't the front? Yeah, so this is anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll just delete this world and we'll create a new one. Uh, ejection seat. We have it saved, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's stupid. With the new update that they put in... For some reason, the mod pack and the wings have a corrupted thing, but they don't actually, but they used to. So I don't know why it happens, but they seem to have a problem with each other. But I bet you if I create a world... Oh no, I still have one. Awesome. So now there's just it's just completely screwed over. Great. That's fantastic. It literally was working. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna punch somebody in the throat. Oh! Why did you guys have to put wings in the mod pack? Seriously, I'm gonna go hurt Durf. I'm gonna I'm gonna go smack Durf one. I literally I literally just created a world this morning for this. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna exit my game. Ugh. Guys, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Hashtag blame derf. 100%. I'm, I'm literally, I like, remove the wings from the mod pack. You don't need them. You really don't. If you want wings, you will spawn the wings pack anyways. There's like four wings in the mod pack, and you don't ever use them without the rest of the wings. So just have the wings mod as the wings mod. Have the mod pack as the mod pack. And let's all get on with our lives. I don't know why you guys combine them.
especially because all it does is cause this stupid incompatibility and it drives me bonkers and like now it's gonna work maybe is it gonna work is it gonna work oh my goodness thank god but look i have no terrain this is cool i'm in a i'm in a world with no terrain because it didn't actually create the world it's it's so mental guys it's mental let's see if this works Welcome to the new... Oh, no. See, now it's corrupted again. So I gotta quit. Gotta quit. Gotta reload. I don't, I don't understand. Blame Khan. Yeah, no, for sure. I don't understand. I, I don't know what this incompatibility is. I really should screenshot it and send it to Durf. Because, like, it's... it's Obviously, it's the two... The Winx mod and the other one. But I don't know why they hate each other so much. Let me delete this. Okay, let's see if we can actually get into a world. This I never should have quit. This is Minnie's mod's fault now. That's what we're gonna... I, it actually isn't, but you know. Quit, reload, like... It's painful. It's painful. Hope this works. You have to literally quit your whole game and reload. And then, for some reason, it goes away. But then if I quit this world and reload the world, I'd have to quit my whole game again and reload it, I think. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, we're back. Holy cow, that was, whew, that was an adventure. That was a good, good times. Yeah, it's, uh, there's some weird with those two mods. I don't know why. I'm gonna bug Durf about it. I'm gonna be like, Durf, listen. Listen, Durf. You gotta, you gotta remove that Wings mod stuff. Well, I'll show him the error first and see if he can replicate it. I'm sure he'll be able to tell me why it's happening first. But yeah, something's weird. It's only since this last update, though. Before the test, like even in the test branch, it was doing that. But before challenge mode, you never had that issue. So I don't understand. Um, I know the devs changed some scripting stuff, but I don't. I don't know fully what they changed. But anyways, okay. Here's the the objective. Finally, can spawn in the sky platform. Okay, that's what we wanted the whole time. And then we're gonna take an ejection seat. All right, and we're gonna weld it onto the side here, and then we'll eject off this thing at some height so we can see um, how it goes. We'll just turn this on and yeah. Guys, this is, this is, um, it's, uh, mini, <laughs> I think it's, it's hovering, it's, it's not moving, you know, we could, if we could just get into the ejection seat, we could test it from there, um, someone should, someone should timestamp that so I can send it to mini and be like, hey, mini, I think your stabilizer is just a bit broken. This is supposed to... It's supposed to stay level. Um, it's literally like a brick wall. It's amazing. Can we... Can we... Can we... Oh my god. Can we... Can we... Can we... Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Okay. Sick. How, what kind of an angle does it pick? What? Like, I mean, what? It's, like, what? Alright, here we go. We're gonna eject. I mean, it kind of works. It needs more weight on the front, for sure. Wow, that was, that was excessive for one test. 
You know, let's just make a really tall tower. Let's just make a giant tower that we can test off of. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Um, okay, here we go. Let me just... Actually, I need that. That was amazing. All that work just to spawn in. Thanks. We're just gonna we're just gonna delete that guys. We're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen, okay? Alright, and then actually this is the easiest way to do it. Let's just do this. Where's the mod pack piston? Because there is one. Okay, and it's got a length of like absolutely ridiculous, I think. Um Do we have to feed it a number counter? I think we can just do that, right? <laughs> We'll just feed it a length of a thousand and negative a thousand. There we go. Perfect. So that'll be our testing platform. Problem solved. Okay. Let's, uh, let me do one more test here on top of this. And then I think, so we need weight in the front. Um, which pretty much means we need weight either underneath or we need it where this controller is. And I kind of want to put it where this controller is. I think we're going to move this controller to the back. Okay, and then put that here. Put that there. And connect that to there just so that doesn't spin. Okay, sick. Save this. And then we'll put some weight on the front. And then that means we're gonna have to put some extra thrust. We're gonna have to balance the thrust again. You know what, let's just um, do them all even first. And then see where it goes and then manipulate them because i don't want to keep playing around with it because they already have different values now anyways so here we go all even okay let's see if we can get the parachute thing to work first regardless of the thrust and then we'll deal with the thrust itself ejection seat there we go okay and we're just gonna weld this guy to that and then uh that'll be that there we go. Try using a stabilizer. I mean, I don't want to use mini stabilizer for we just saw what happened with the uh, with this. I want this to be stabilizer free because this whole thing is gonna be mounted inside a jet, right? So you want to be able to fly like a normal plane that's not stabilized, and then whenever you want, be able to hit the eject button. Uh, and hopefully this will all work. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, so it rotates to the right. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely got... It's got a lot of weight. It might not... Is it not enough weight on the front? Does it need more weight? Maybe we get rid of the wings on the back now that we have weight on the front? Do we do... Sorry, guys. I know this is just, like... This is the painful part of just trying to figure out how to make this logistically work. And then we have to make the whole thing look like a jet. Mini stabilizer works fine. It says a lower number setting. I mean, I had it at, I thought, one of the lowest settings, but I guess I didn't. Add four parachutes to be balanced. I mean, that would work. Add a counterweight to the parachute block to make sure it's always facing up no matter the rotation of the seat. Yeah, parachute upwards, not sideways. All right, here we go. Okay, so it definitely needs the wings. And it still rotates to the right. Look at how consistent these... Uh... Let's leave those there. I want to see if another ejection puts the window right there. Look at that. That's very... 
This is incredibly consistent. I mean, that is a very consistent ejection seed, really. Put a super heavy block. Yeah, but then, like, you run into the issues with the plane flying, too, right? Like, this whole thing needs to be in a plane that can fly. If we make it super, super heavy, then the plane itself's not going to fly, and then we've got a whole other problem. Let's just delete that. Okay, so it rotated to the right, so that's easy enough to fix. Um, put more thrust on it there. Put more thrust on it there. Right. And then the wings will leave on the back. Yeah, we'll save that. And we'll replace these with metal. Make a big metal brick there. All right, and then we'll try this. Totally hit the wrong button. Oh, that looked good, though. That actually looks like it might... Hold on, that actually looks like it might have enough weight to do something. That one didn't land the same because it wasn't at the 250 blocks in height. Don't worry. It'll it'll land right on the same spot. Alright. Place metal in the front. Yeah, I did. I did. There's a four, a two by two block of metal in the very front. Um, so hopefully now this will work. Four. There we go. Get some height. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Eject. Front flips forward. That's okay. <gasps> you know that's actually pretty good. I'm I'm kind of okay with that. I'm actually I'm actually kind of okay with that. Guys, this is. <laughs> Let's just leave it. We're gonna see how many of those we can stack up by the end of the episode. That's actually pretty good though. I think maybe two shoots. Because it's it's uneven weight right now. The shoots are like one right beside each other. Or it's one shoot on the offset. So it's kind of like spinning. But maybe if we have two shoots side by side, it'll be better. Um, but the consistency of this eject is absolutely insane. Like that's, that's what? That's so good. Anyways, yeah, let's do two. Let's try a second one. Okay. And then maybe it'll, it'll fall more consistently. Uh, and then we'll put the button underneath it. So we need a button. And we need a shoot like that. Okay. Twenty. What is that? Euro? I don't know what currency that is. Twenty dollars super chat though from Roman Rangers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I gotta look up what that symbol is. I have no idea what the currency is. Looks like almost like it's not euro, but thank you so much again for the 20 though. Really appreciate that. Um, this needs to hook into the shoots, right? Yeah. I'm actually faster than my notifications. That's funny. That's one. No, what? Why are you, what are you connected to? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, what? One is the shoots, two is eject, three is that switch. Good enough. Ejection seat. And this went forward, right? It was nose heavy, right? So let's uh, let's put some extra thrust power on the nose. Boom. Okay. All right, and then this. Perfect. Oh, it's 20 rupees. Cool. That's what the currency is. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'm really bad. There's, like, so many different symbols now, and, like, YouTube keeps expanding where you're allowed to do donations and stuff. Use a flipper glitch. You want me to use a flipper glitch for the ejection? Oh, that's not connected to... 
anything. Perfect. Um, okay, so two. Wow, just barrel rolls. That was amazing. That was... <gasps> and it missed. Oh, that's why it's so consistent. Oh, they keep getting... Oh, that's no fair. That's no fun. I thought they were actually landing on top of each other. They're actually just glitching through the ground right here, and it's putting them on top of each other here. You know what? We'll just keep stacking them anyways. But, ah, oh, that's that's not nearly as exciting. I thought they were actually landing there. I'm like, wow, that's the most consistent I've ever seen scrap mechanic. Okay, so it just did, like, a massive barrel roll. Uh, which isn't good. Oh, we also evened out the weight, too, so it doesn't need to be offset left to right. All right. This should hopefully be like the final test. I think. Barrel launcher flipper glitch. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. That's perfect. That's that's that'll be good enough. That feels like a parachute close enough. That's awesome. So now we just need to make it actually launch out straight. So that we can test on the ground. Though. We don't need to keep using this fancy majumner test rig. Awesome. I'm going to delete these, though, because the, the last one didn't stack up, and it made me sad. Mega Jet, yeah, yeah. Oh, what mods? I'm using the, um... Um, I am using the mod pack, and I'm using the wings mod. We had minis mod in just to spawn in the sky platform, but that just didn't really work out, so it didn't really matter. But yeah, I'm using the mod pack and, uh, and the wings mod to um, make this happen because we're going to use all these wings to make the jet and this is just going to be the center part of the uh, the cockpit there so let's um let's get this balanced um let's get rid of that and let's put this down need a need a switch somewhere i don't know whatever put it there Sick. Okay. So let's just uh, save this and then let's test. No, and not delete it. Let's save it. And then let's test um, just the ejection part to try and get the seat going as straight out as possible. And then. Uh... Actually, that's pretty good, isn't it? It's a little bit front heavy. And then that way we can, uh, we can have it working properly. And then we'll build a jet around it. Call it a day. So it's a little bit front heavy, so we need to just go up a little bit on these two guys. That might be too much. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Nice. You get lots of clearance away from the jet. That's actually awesome. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. Did I save it with that up? I don't know if I saved it with that up. I think I did, right? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Just like, and it's gone. That's awesome. And then it drops straight down vertical. Vertical. 
So now, of course, there's one more test I want to do before we build it on a plane. We're not going to change that at all. But what I want to do is I want to just slap it onto uh, a tray with wheels. So uh, if we take this and we, we, I don't know, we get a car. Do I have a, like a, a car? Like a Humvee? Here we go. And then... Um, just like, you know, weld this. onto that and then I don't even know what this seat's hooked into is it hooked into like why why did I split these engines honestly okay it doesn't matter of course of course I can't okay you know let's, we'll do it on the lift it's fine uh, so get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and that and that and then this is the uh, at speed test we're gonna make sure that if we're driving at full speed the ejection seat still works um, whatever that's what that'll be named all right so perfect this is how the military does it and we'll just uh, we'll just drive down the runway at full speed and then we'll hit eject and hopefully the vehicle I mean the vehicle should stop moving because the seat will get no wait the seat will get disconnected from the engine so the vehicle will keep moving forever okay that's gonna that's gonna be a bit of a problem isn't it um So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that'll stop the thing from, from driving just by blowing up the engines. Make it automatic. I mean, according to real ejection, you don't have to explode that cockpit window, you know? Wait, what? How do you, how do you get the cockpit window off in a real ejection? I thought it blasts off. They don't, they don't open it manually or does it just, well, I guess actually if you open up the front of it, then the wind would just rip it off, wouldn't it? Make the aircraft explode after... Yeah, no, I'm thinking about that. E aircraft explode after uh, ejection would be cool. I'm just trying to think. Like, isn't that... I thought they blast them off. The window's off. I mean, you need the you need the thing. All right, ready? Let's go full speed. And then uh, eject. I mean, it worked. kind of launched forward a lot like a missile but it gets it gets clear of the plane which is what I care about and blows a giant hole in the front of it that's sick they are made out of some do some launch you through the glass what okay well I, I can't I can't launch through the glass in scrap mechanic the only thing we could do is blow up the glass All right, let's do this. Another test. Test two. Full speed. I feel like we can go faster. These engines aren't. We got to crank these engines up more. Hold on. Do they go up even higher? Oh, they do. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's turn around. Get up. Don't hit the explosives. All right, we'll get a full run at this. Ejection seat test two. Number two. And here we go. <laughs> I think I think it blew up. I think it blew up too much stuff. The thrusters didn't go off on that one. Alright, well it ejected us still. Alright, let's build a jet. Let's be real. We all wanna we all wanna put a plane on it. Mm-hmm. Bow, 
Bow. Are you guys honestly going through TikTok memes? You guys are. You guys are. This is what my chat has become now. It's just TikTok memes. You know what's funny about that TikTok meme? The TikTok Overwatch meme where the girl's sitting there with the controller and she's like, I'm already Tracer. And she's got like the PlayStation controller. Yeah, Overwatch is not on PlayStation. Unless something changed and magically Overwatch is on PlayStation now, she's clearly using a PlayStation controller for a game that's not actually on PlayStation. And also her controller is turned off. It's not even on. So, you know, just saying, she's not anybody. She's like, I've already traced her. No, you're staring at a black screen and actually your computer's off. You're just looking at the PlayStation menu. Just say it. Or if it's on, is it on PlayStation now? Because it wasn't. Is let me. I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna, let me Google this. Is Overwatch on PlayStation? Oh, dang it! They put it on PlayStation now. Release date out now. When did it get released on PlayStation? Well now. May 24th. Well, shoot. Okay, I guess I'm an idiot. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it always has been. Well, I feel dumb now. Okay, guess the meme makes sense. Guess, guess the meme is allowed to stay for another day. Let's get schooled. In memes. Uh, I don't want that. I want this. Well, thank you, thank you guys for correcting my meme knowledge. I really, I'm really glad that uh, you guys could help me on this one. I feel like I want it like, but then it's got to go up, right? I can do this, but then it's got to go up. To like cover up. See, this is the problem I don't like with these sloped the sloped cockpit. Like, look at the amount of height you need, right? Just to cover that up. And that actually won't work because it'll be glitched into it. So it'd have to be like this. And even that's gonna be glitched into it. So we'd actually have to do... Like that. And then like that, just to kind of make a semi-seal. See what I mean? Like, I don't know. Do glass on the side. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can, I can do glass on the side too. I'm just... I don't, I don't know how... Oh, well, whoops. I don't want to do that. That's not. That wasn't the button I pressed. Whoops! Pressed the wrong button. I just ejected. I just don't know. I don't know how I like that. I mean, I like it better if it was flush. And that also totally just completely broke. I also realized something too just now when I was testing that. If we do this, I bet you this won't eject. Cause now it gets stuck. I think we need a tolerance on it. Watch. Oh no. Okay, maybe it does. Okay, never mind. This is kind of weird. I'll be McCree. Guys, guys. Do you know who I play in Overwatch? Honestly, the, the, the only character I play in Overwatch, like stupid amounts of hours, and I'm crazy good with, is May. Okay? I'm, I'm literally a May main, and like, I will freeze you 10 days of the week, and I will 1v1 anybody in May. And I will win. And that's what'll happen. I'm telling you. May is OP. So OP. Most OP character in all of Overwatch. May. Lucio main? No, no. Lucio, no. Lu Lucio is no. He's a Cheerios sponsor. Come on. It May is all about it. It's all about May. Can we do it five degrees? 
Oh yeah, and that's still that's still kind of in. Maybe six degrees puts it in. That's cool. That's pretty good. Okay. Like, I'm not using any aesthetic mods is the thing. So I don't have any, like, really long, crazy slope blocks. I've literally got, like, I'm stuck with, like, small slope blocks. See, so like, there's still that crack there. I don't, I don't like having that crack there. Ugh, scrap mechanic, why? Why you do this to me? Why you gotta, why you gotta be like that? Like, I feel like that's too wide. I mean, maybe. Eh. Eh. Uh, you know what? We'll just do it. We'll just do it. Put a front end on it. Call it a day. We're not winning any awards here for creative design, that's for sure. This is not going to be a, a, you know, I don't know creative design. I don't know. Is there an award for creative design? Does that exist in video games? Is that a thing? Best Minecraft creator of the year or something? Um, shoot, this has to be able to flip open too, right? So we gotta have some space here probably. Like that. I would assume. More than that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, so it needs to be like that. And then like that. This is, we're making a boat. I'm 99% I'm sure this is a boat at this point. This actually looks more like a boat than a plane. There we go. We can do this. Looks kind of something. Looks like, looks like something. I guess. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go with that. Oh my god, yes! It's the stumpiest plane ever made. Look at how slick this plane looks, guys. Look at Wow. That front end though. Oh my god, yes. This looks like this looks like a <laughs> this looks kind of triangular. God, I wish I wish I wish Scrap Mechanic had so many more mods, like not mods, um, default parts. Like Stormworks at least has the four default parts, which you can make anything look decent with. Um, looks like the traditional con brick vehicle. Yeah, hundred percent. But no, like, Stormworks has, like, you know, at least some parts that allow you to make, you know, some isometric shapes. Um, but you can't do that. It's, like, they literally have no parts by default. Unless you put on, like, all these mods that have, like, curved parts and stuff. There's no parts by default in Scrap Mechanic that make anything curved. And instead, it just looks like... Like, that just looks... That looks silly. It just... It's so silly. It's sad. It makes me sad. And I mean, obviously, you can get rid of it if you make something big. Like, for example, like, um, whoops, not the DC, the, this thing, right? So, like, if you make a plane big enough, you can kind of get rid of the pixel effect by rounding off the edges. But, like, it has to be so big. Making stuff small that looks good is just a pain in the butt. Anyways, story of my life. I kind of want to put spud guns like that.
bow, 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 bow. You've never played Minecraft before. I mean, I have, but like when I played Minecraft, I wasn't all like, oh, I'm going to make everything look aesthetically pleasing. I didn't really care. Like that's, that's the thing with me. Like, you know, I know there's tons of people who play like, you know, block building games and have this crazy ability to make awesome aesthetic stuff like Moombo. But for me, it's just like, no, nah, no, nah, I just, I just try and make stuff that works. Kind of always been that way. I should probably save this. Despite it looking like poop. Yeah, like I don't I hate this front end. It looks so dumb. Dumb 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 dumb. Dumb. Dumb 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 dumb. Oh that looks worse. I hate, I hate building aesthetic stuff. Do I really need that much space in the front? Use polygon mod pack. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the option, right? Is to use the polygon mod pack instead of using the regular mod pack. Does Moombo still make videos? I mean, I haven't seen it. Make it longer. Yeah, no, I know. It's got to be a lot longer. Don't worry, guys. It, it's going to be bigger. Just Google Jet. I mean, the problem is I suck at turning a picture into block art. So, like, the ejection seat part looks cool and works, but, like, yeah. This song is, uh, it's called, uh, what is it called? Something? Perseus by Unknown Brain. It actually looks more like a boat. It's like a, it's like a boat. It's a, it's a scrap mechanic boat. That looks, it looks great. Looks kind of like a boat. You know, it's kind of looks like something. That we, it, we'll go with that. It's something. It is, it is definitely, definitely something. Um, needs to be, be at least like this long. Yeah, give or take. If Scrap Mechanic had a mirror mode, that would be amazing. Like, the ability to mirror parts. Yeah, 
I think I want to do this too. Don't worry guys, this isn't actually going to be the final shape. I'm just kind of laying out some stuff. I know it looks like poop. And that thruster is just going to be for aesthetics. And then there's going to be the actual thrusters, which are going to be like modded ones. Because then they can make them small and put them inside. I also wish you could click and drag slope things. It would be great. Yeah, nice speedboat. Thanks, dude. I'm really digging it. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a great looking speedboat with an ejection seat. It actually look Oh my god. I've been playing too much Stormworks, so all I know how to build is boats. Ugh, it's literally just a boat. Ugh. 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 Just stop being a noob. Yeah, okay. Make it take off like a real plane. That looks like a rocket boat. Looks cool. It's a long boat. Make slow pieces at the top. Just put wings on it and it's not a boat. <laughs> that's, literally, that's literally the only difference between a boat and a plane, right? Just wings. Just throw some wings on it. Boom, not a boat. Done. It actually looks like a boat. It, it literally looks like a rocket. It's like a rocket boat. And that engine definitely needs to go in more. Um, like that. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We're just gonna have two tails on it. I was just thinking, of, like, it needs to have, like, it's it's, uh, even width. So putting a tail on it would be a pain. But actually, we can just do, we can just do, like, the twin slope tail thing, and it'll be fine. And then it'll look normal-ish. Sort of. Kinda. You should play Brick Rigs with Komodo Spy Cakes and OB. I mean, it, yeah, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I like, I like building stuff. And, like, I like building creations and, like, trying to do... And they just... They kind of just play with creations, which is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I like to do. I like to actually build stuff. And, um... You know. Build stuff. That's what I... That's what I like doing. It's a great-looking plane, guys. I'm so excited about how awesome this plane looks. You have no idea. Um... And then let's uh, let's do some stuff here. Hold on. Bow, 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 bow. Whoops! Shoot. Uh oh! Do I don't have a weld point on that. That sucks. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this. So these will deliver the actual power. And then this thing will just be the aesthetic awesome thruster that turns on. Um, and then, like, it needs a front wheel. Can I fit a front wheel in here? Do I have room? Okay, well, this is offset, first of all. How much room do I have up here, though? I have a lot of room. Actually. We can fit a front wheel, but it's going to be like, it'll be offset. I don't know if that, you know what, let's just do it. I don't really care. Because like, I, I, I made the whole thing even width to be compatible with the seat. But of course, making it even width and having it compatible with the seat means it's basically just not compatible with everything else. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. And actually, we need to move those spud guns because I want to have this covered up now. 
like that. Put the spud guns on the wings or something. So yeah, it is what it is. The wheel's just gonna be kind of offset in the front, but it's fine. Problem solved. Amazing. Now we can have that deploy. You could put two wheels in there for OCD's sake. I mean, I could, but, like, I don't really care. It, as long as it can hold itself up. I mean, the wheels are just going to be sitting there on the ground. And then as long as it holds itself up. And, yeah, delta wing for sure. Just a big, like, flat triangular wing. Um... But yeah, I honestly don't care as long as the wheels actually hold it up. So here's like the idea. Um, I feel like that's got to be back more. Just give me a sec. I just want to look up something real quick. Yeah, it needs to be way back. Like, here? Might be... No, because I need flaps on it still, right? So let's go put it to there. Or I need controls. I mean, not flaps. Um, like that? Maybe? That is massive. Okay, hold on. Let's go back by two each time. One, two. One, two, one, two. So it'd be that wide. That looks like a rocket. I feel like I feel like that needs to be wider. What do you guys think? You think that needs to be like wider? Like obviously we're gonna shape it too. Or we can do I guess we could do this. But then like the, they can't fit that way up here. Hmm. Or do that. Hold on. How's that? Wider? But what do you guys the, the, see now it needs to be long it needs to go up to at least there. Yeah, you know, that might be okay if we slope that out. And then put the ailerons on the back. Might be okay. Try it. This is where symmetry mode would be beautiful. Whoops. I think I think that'll be okay. I think I think that'll be fine. Hot dog plane, yeah, it's a hot dog plane. It's fine. It look it looks like a hot dog plane. Use cannons instead of wood guns, instead of spud guns. I don't have any uh, any um. Uh, what am I talking about? I don't have cannons uh, on this thing. On this uh, world right now. Like, I don't have the beta mod pack. My god, talking today is such a struggle. Holy cow. Um, I wonder if I could do this. Can I do this? I mean, that kind of looks okay. That looks pretty good. Down, 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 down. 
These modular wing parts are really cool. Let you do a lot of stuff. We gotta fix this front here too. Oh god, that's bad. That's bad. That's, let's not... Let's not do it that way. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just leave it. Who cares? Looks fine. Alright. And then this, and then this, and then... I really like that. I, I think that looks cool. Make it waterproof. Put a water activator, what, so it can float? Oh, save it. That's a good point. Yeah, I should save it. I think, I think that looks okay. It'll look better once it's painted, but... Ejection seat. Yeah, and then... Um, it needs wheels, like the back landing gear. So it's got the front landing gear. But then it needs back ones. And, like, I feel like the back ones have to just kind of fold out from the sides, right? Uh, and, and we need flaps, obviously, and pitch controls. So let's uh, let's do that stuff real quick, because we can do that pretty easy. So, um, where's the pieces? I need to clean up the end of this wing, too. So hold on. Let's do, let's do all this stuff. We got too much stuff to do. Okay, this needs to go like... No, this needs to go like this. Clean up the edge of the wing. Why did it why did it work there? And not here. Uh oh, I did these wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That one overhangs. Ah, that's the problem. I feel like now this needs to come back more because it's going to be you know what no you know what i don't i don't actually like that i just tried to do undo i just i just literally tried to do control z feels bad man let's do it like this and then just flatten it out i like that better although i feel like these wings are too wide now there we go Maybe. Ah, eh, no, maybe not. Press F if you like toast. I like toast. You are stupid. Okay, are you talking to me? If so, I'm sorry that your opinion of me is so little. I, I apologize for being stupid in your eyes. Is there anything I can do to convince you that I am not as stupid as you think I am? Perhaps if I sang you a little diddly, that was completely made up would that would that help you out would you like a hug are you are you in need of a hug is that your problem do you just do you just need someone to hug f f are you guys are you guys effing for the stream guys the stream the stream is guys the stream is fine it's it's fine chill chill youtube gets random lag spikes it is a thing i am a pilot make it longer what do you mean make it longer the plane longer? You want a huge, like a huge plane? I don't, I don't really want to have a huge plane. I want to have a small plane, like a little, little fighter plane. You want a huge plane? Do you, get, you guys really think I need a bigger plane than that? Wait, they're pressing F for toast. For toast? What do you mean toast? F for toast? Did I say F for to- oh my god, Cosmo's like correct. Guys, I don't know what I say half the time. It's a problem, and it's all live on the internet. Cosmo's like, yo, you gotta say F for toast. I'm like, alright, sorry. I'm sorry. It's a mini aircraft. Yeah, it's small. It's gonna be like a little small F for toast. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, guys. I missed- I missed that. I missed my own memo. So now, I just wanna do the back wheels first, and then have this whole- wheel system deployed let's um let's put controller down for that for landing gear this one will just be like this
Cool. I mean, it's a little offset. <laughs> it's not bad if you look at it at any angle but the front, okay? It just it just looks really weird. It's fine. It's guys, it's fine. It's going to be a small plane. It's going to look cool. It's okay. Now I need to do the side wheels. How to do the side wheels? They need to like swig out Ugh. And I apparently need a nap, is what I need. Actually, hold on. Do you guys want... Do you guys think um, the wheels should be mounted to the wings? Or do you think they should be mounted to the fuselage? I think they need to be mounted to the fuselage. I think we need, like, a hole. Like, here. And the wheel folds up into that. Use large wheels? It'll be too big, though. Wings? Fuselage? Wings? Fuselage? Mount them to the wings? That's how I've seen jets. Wings? Wings? Save it? Yeah, I'll save it. Save it. Save it. Okay, guys. Save it. Notice me, senpai. What's up, Marcus? Wing? Yawn face? Wings? Wings? Have pistons on a bearing that come out on an angle, and then the wheels and the bearings make it fuselage? Fuselage? Wings? Guys, there's so many more people saying wings. Get OB to help. Does OB build stuff? Apparently, I just got vetoed, and I have to mount them to the wings. You realize if they're mounted to the wings, though, they're not going to be, like, they're not going to be flush like they are with the fuselage. Like, their fuselage, we could have it so the resting position is like this, and then they kind of, like, fold out. But on the wings, the resting position would be flat, and they'd rotate and turn down. But they wouldn't be, it wouldn't, it would stick out from the wing. Like, it would be at least, I can't even do it because I have all this wing completed, but, like, it would be at least like this, right? Like, it would look like that on the wing, and then we'd have a line in the wing where the landing gear is. Fuselage. Everyone says nose. All right, we're going to put only landing gear on the nose. Right, that's it. Chat has spoken. Okay, so we're going to patch all this up. All right, here we go. So we're going to just... All right, perfect. So now the plane will fly. Amazing. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Look at, look at, look at. It prevents the wing from touching the ground. Um, actually, we just need a little bit more. See, look at this. And if we just put a few more wheels. Look at that. Now, it's, see, no problem. The wing doesn't touch the ground. Right? That's, that's, put them in the, fu you know what, guys? I, I really want to put them in the fuselage. I, I know, like, everyone's all, like, wings, but I kind of want to put them in the fuselage. I kind of want it to look like this when it's flush. Uh, you know what? We're going to do it in the wings, though. Because you guys, chat voted wings. Sorry, sorry, all you people who voted fuselage. Uh, chat was extremely biased towards the wings. So, got to do what chat wants. And give them the... That's when I'm going to go back and watch the replay of the live stream and actually count up the number of people who said each and realize I was wrong. But anyways. Alright, so we need to just reconfigure this wing structure a little bit. Um... This question is, of course, how. So, like, here and here. And there and there. What am I looking for here, guys? I'm looking for something. I'm looking for this. I need that. Invisible bearing. I mean, regular bearing. Sure. Piston. So I'm pretty sure it's just that. No, oh, wrong way. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, there. I want it here. And here. And then that. And then that. Yeah, you know what? Actually, let's do it like this. And then... Let's 
It's gonna be a really complicated landing gear, but anyways. Uh, that, 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 that. So... I think. All right, so I press four. Right? Right, good, yeah, no, good, close enough. I mean, it looks like landing gear, they do something. They're kind of far back, but they're definitely landing gear. Fuselage, now everyone's saying, no, fuselage. yeah, I'll save it, that's a good point. You should team up with Moombo. I would gladly do uh, builds with Moombo if you want to do the aesthetic stuff. Um, but I don't know where... I think Moombo is, um, kind of hasn't posted a video in a while. So I also want to do this too. I think it's going to look cooler. Oh, no. That's not the one I wanted. Shoot. I can probably, I can like move that whole wheel assembly up more, couldn't I? And it would look better. The landing gear. And they should be closer to the fuselage. They're a little far out on the wings. They should be like here. Almost like flush. It's fine, we'll just do this. Whoops. Where do I put it? That way. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be good, guys. It's gonna, and then we're just gonna make it fly. Really. We don't even have that much left to do, honestly. I mean, it's just finalizing these stupid wings. We've got the pitch and roll controls already put into the wings, so that's all set. Uh, we have to actually hook those up to some smart controllers, but that's not a big deal to do. And then, um, we gotta just do the tail fins as well. I like, I like that better. I think that looks better. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's, uh, 105, 105, negative, one, zero, one, zero, and 90, and 90. Make a landing pad that looks like a grill? What? What do you mean, like, a landing pad that looks like a grill? Oh, right. We got some bearings backwards here. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Hold on. That's right. They're on the front now. That kind of looks like a jet, almost-ish. Yeah, that's something. All right, we are doing stuff. 
All right, now I'm gonna put some tails on it, and uh, and then we'll uh, worry about everything else. I want to do something cool with the tail, though. I want to do this and this, and I have no idea how this is actually gonna work out, but we're gonna do it anyways. And then we'll put all the logic down in there. And... Okay, I think, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, and then I mean, that looks okay. That's a large tail fin. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty small. I think I I don't know. Make them more sleek. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna put some slope pieces on it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put yaw controls on the tail. I don't really care. I think it just needs roll and pitch. I mean, yaw. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna put yaw on the tail. Who am I kidding? I gotta do it. All right, let's make these more sleek first. Uh. I need this guy to do that. No, that's the wrong one. Flat, slanted, rounded edge. Oh, wait, no, that is the right one. Just like this. Right? And then if we fill this in, see, that's going to look sick. And then we got to put the um, yaw control on it. Which is just like this. Do you guys think do you guys think I should cut that tail back? I mean I think that looks okay. I kinda wanna move the whole engine in more though. Like I kinda want this engine to be up. I don't like how much it sticks out the back. I wanna do this. I wanna flatten this out. And then like slope this down more here. Watch, we're gonna build this whole jet and then find out the eject doesn't even work. And then, yeah, I wanna bring this up quicker. Like that. Yeah, I like that better. Cause then we can do this. Looks infinitely better. All right. Now we just need to do all the controls. So, uh, to do the controls, and then we'll do some final aesthetic stuff. But to do the controls, we need uh, three smart engines. So one for yaw, one for pitch, and one for roll. Right? 
uh, and we'll deal with the directions later. They all need to be hooked up to a speed uh, number guy, which could just be one that controls all three of them. Paint that white to indicate speed, and we'll set that to a speed of probably like 100. Uh, no, 20, 30. Yeah, so they're all rotating now. Maybe a little faster. Yeah, maybe 100 is good speed. Okay. Yeah, it's a hot dog plane, guys. Okay, save. Okay, okay, good point. Good point. I will save. Fix the wedge. Fix the landing gear in the other direction, outwards from the fuselage. Flip the landing gear in the other direction, outwards from the fuselage. I'm, wait, I'm confused. Hold on. I'm, I'm confused what you mean. Ejection seat. They are outwards from the fuselage. You mean they're supposed to be inwards? Like that? Make the nose longer? Yeah, I could- I might make the nose longer afterwards. I just want to get it flying first and, uh, and deal with the control side of things and then we'll deal with everything else. Alright, so... Boom, boom, boom. We can just do this. Multiply, multiply, multiply. These are all the position vectors. Um... And you know what? We'll, we'll actually make them all go the same distance. Do I care? Uh, you know what? Let's do them all different just in case we need to change them. That one, that one, that one. For now, we'll set them all to be 30. 30 degrees. Okay. And then we'll do the math block and okay hold on one two three four that's all the controls right yeah so then five will go to you know let's just do this with a couple math blocks just to make everybody's life easier okay and then six actually we need we need two buttons hold on uh for yaw whoops there we go so y'all be these two buttons. Wanna go there, wanna go there. Uh, that'll be five and six, I guess. Perfect, and then... Seven and eight, we'll go to these. WS converter. Oh wait, I don't have an ignition. Oh shoot, I need a thrust button. I need a thrust switch. Oh my god, this is so messy for controls. The controls in this are just going to be everywhere. Anyways, okay, that's our thrust switch. Let's actually move this back over here. Seven. Perfect. The left wedge piece is a different way. Oh, this one. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sick. I kind of like it better sloping down, maybe? I don't know what I like better, to be honest. It's, I would like it better if they had the inverted piece that's in the, molly, the polygon mod pack and in Stormworks. There's only like four basic building pieces for blocks. You have like the cube, the slope, the inverted sla slope interaction piece, and then the triangular corner piece. And they only have two of them in Scrap Mechanic, and they should really have all four. Um, anyways, this is the story of my life. Or story of... Hey, we're stuck. This is cool. Um, all right, we need a counter block. Okay, so hold on. So WS can hook up to, wait, which one's pitch? That's the middle one. So WS hooks up to that. A and D hooks up to that. And then yaw is five and six, which is Th 
that times that. Math blocks are a little bit confusing just because you can't really see what they are. You kind of have to, there we go. So that's negative one. And then these two add together. And then that goes to there. So um, five yaws one way, six yaws the other way. That's pretty cool. I need to round those out too, I screwed up. Uh, this guy, gotta remake that. Perfect. Okay, so let's try this again. So five yaws that I think those need to be reversed. Five yaws left, six yaws right. S does nothing. W also does nothing. That's, oh, that's because we didn't hook the seat up into the converters. Hold on, hold on. Eight, nine, okay. S. Grade. S, pitch up. W, pitch down. A, roll left. D, roll right. Three. All right, so in theory, this should work. I mean, kind of. Ejection seat. Everything should be good to go. Should have all the controls. Dab. I saved. I saved. We're gonna we're gonna hit the guys. There's a new thing out. You get, have you guys heard of this? I you guys might not have heard of this. You guys might not be up with the times like I am. I am. Wait, my hat isn't straight. Okay, listen, listen. Okay. Just because, just because, you guys aren't up with the times. Okay, doesn't mean I don't know how to dab. Okay, the the dabbing is no longer this or this. It's now both at the same time, and you just run around the street doing this constantly, and no one will look at you weird. Trust me. Just walk through your neighborhood grocery store, um, and it's fine. Okay, so let's try this this flight. How do how do I activate it? That's yeah, not very fast. It's not. We might need more thrust. I don't think we're fast enough. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, that works. Oh, I forgot to shut the plane off when you eject. I guess, I guess we should do that. Don't worry, guys. I saved. I saved. It's fine. You know what? We'll just, we'll just go, we'll go grab that plane. Hold on. So it needs, it needs more lift. Um, we might be able to actually put some wings inside. Okay, I gotta switch. This is uncomfortable. So we might be able to put some wings inside the fuselage to help give it some more lift, but we might also need more thrust, too. Um... And then it also needs, it might need bigger control surfaces. Who knows? We'll see. And we need to shut it off when we get, when we eject. Because I don't want it to keep flying. Hold on, can I, can I, is my hat straight? 
Is it straight now? It's still a few degrees off. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry my hat's a few degrees off. This is a really cool hat, by the way. Check it out. This is I like this hat. Look, it's got this, like, cool eagle wrench logo. That's why I wear it all the time. It's from an airfield. Uh, I don't remember what the airfield is. It seems appropriate for all the scrap mechanic stuff. All right. So we got to fix the auto shut off. So that's that's a necessary thing. Uh, auto shut off. Auto shut off. How are we going to do that? Well, seven's for the thrusters. So we can switch that to be... This is cool. This is cool. This is this is fun. Okay. Uh, so seven can just go through an AND gate. And the AND gate can actually just be wired into... A sensor. Actually, when you eject, it flings up some memory, right? Yeah, that's right. So we can go and not the memory. So there we go. So as long as you haven't ejected, that should work fine. Ejection seat. Save. Yes. Okay. And then we need definitely need some more wings in the fuselage. And probably some more speed. Uh, where is the thrusters? But I'm looking for this one. What? Okay. Like that. Put them in there. Crank this up. Crank this up. Crank these down for now. We can always adjust them later. So that goes to all four. Okay, so we'll save that. Ejection seat. And then let's just slap more wings in there, I guess. Small, thin airfoil. Whoops. No. Okay, sweet. And then actually, we're going to put another one here up in the front too, because I want to do something. This kind of helps um, in keeping your nose, like when you use your yaw controls, kind of helps keep your nose in the direction you want it to go. Just kind of hide that up there. No one will notice. It's fine. And uh, I think that's it. Okay, we'll try it now. Let's see if it flies. Ejection seat. All right. Make seat indicator if you are in window closed, if not open. I mean, I guess you could do that so the window automatically closes rather than having to press a button. But then the thing is, how do you get out? I mean, you could just, I guess, press E and fly through the window, right? Is what you're saying? I mean, I guess you can do that. That would be the other way to do it. This is more of a manual thing. But I mean, by default on the lift, it opens up. So anyways, all right, here we go. That, uh, seven. Definitely got more speed now. We might need bigger control surfaces though. The control surfaces just might be too small. Yeah, it, 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 it does a really good job of going down. It doesn't do such a good job of going up. So, uh, let's extend all the control surfaces on the back wing out. Amazing. Ama amazing. Oh, oh, we can deploy the parachute. Which apparently is enough to stop the whole plane. Oh no, it's just because it was dragging. Okay, cool. Okay. Great. This is, this is working out so well so far, guys. Add canards. Made it explode after you eject. Spud guns. Yeah, yeah, I know. Spud guns. Guys, spud guns are like... Like... Mission number 96.8 out of 100. 
first we need to make the thing fly. And then once it flies, then we'll worry about um, everything else. The problem is this thing is nose heavy because there's no wing in the front, which is expected. Um, which means it needs big control surfaces on the back. And of course, this is all screwed up, right? Yeah, delete that. Something like that, I think. And then... The rounded piece on the end. And then the invisible bearing. The nice thing is with this is you don't have to... Like with a controller, you have to reset all your controller stuff. But with a smart engine you don't because your smart engine is based off number inputs so like yeah you have to rehook them back up and like middle one was pitch i think and we'll have to reconfigure the directions but all the angles and stuff should already be um saved so we don't have to worry about any of that which is kind of cool and i think it was actually this one we reversed and then we'll just do this So now our control surfaces are bigger. Now the question is, does it fly? Make it explode when you eject. Yes, yes, I know. I I I know. I know that's on the agenda. I don't, I don't know if this is going to fly, though. Here are the issues that we face. I think it's still too nose-heavy. Still very much nose-heavy. Hmm. That is a bit of a problem. The delta wing is great, but it means all the lift is at the back. So there's too much weight in the front. Which I mean, either A, we put a bunch of weight in the back... Or B, we put some extra lift in the front. And yeah, making it explode, like, I want to do that. The question is, of course, how much can we make it explode? Because um, it doesn't have a lot of room in it. So I can definitely, like, fill it with some TNT, but, like, there's only so much TNT you can fit in here, right? But yes, I would like to make it explode. But the, the thing is, you're not going to have, like, there's no way, unless there's a modded, I guess I could use, like, a modded explosive that's, like, a super powerful one. But, like, there's no way with these explosives, because they're very small. Like, if I put, like, one of these here and blow this up, it's not even going to come close to blowing up the whole thing. It'll put a hole in the jet, but that's about it, right? Does it have a drag reducer block? No, but drag reducer block shouldn't affect flight. That only affects um, the amount of thrust, which we don't really have problems with thrust. I have an idea, though. I have a feeling if I take these two and I move those guys super low, it'll help push up. If I make them low and in the middle more, like here. They'll help lift the front. And we'll actually reduce these guys. Question is, is it enough? I don't like the bouncing, but anyways, that's a whole other problem. Nah, it still dips too much. Oh, and then the front landing gear gets destroyed. That's great. Great. This is this is this is this is great. This is productive. This is Oh perfect. The landing gear got stuck. The the ejection seat. That's great. This is this is great. The wonderful. 
What a wonderful flying experience. All right, it needs more. It needs more lift. There's no question about that. We need a lot more frontal lift. I mean, the other way to fix the nosedive, I guess, is just to put a thruster in the front. Put a thruster facing up at the middle or front. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the cheesy way to do it, and just have that thruster always on, and it helps lift the front end. I kind of want to do it the real way. Just by balancing the plane weight. Wing in front to push the nose up. Try to make smaller wings in the front that turn the front up instead of pushing the back down. Yeah, I could do that too. Put helium box in the front. Yeah, I mean, it definitely needs... Yeah, see, these are the wings that cause the problem, because they're duplicates. Anyways. Those lift the back. Didn't seem to make a difference putting the thrust front or not. Whoops. Here we go. So like that. It wants to do something. Okay, so that's barely... It's not enough. It's close. But at least we're not, like, completely falling. Alright, those are the parachutes. I don't want to do that. Okay. It's close, guys. We're close. We're close. We're just gonna we're gonna go back over there. You can cover up the wings next to the seat to make it look neater. Yeah, I know for sure. I'm just thinking we might need more wings next to the seat, to be perfectly honest. I know, I know I can cover them up. I just, I think I might need more. It didn't eject. That's also a problem. I have a feeling the ejection seat is getting stuck with all those wings. Which is the other concern of mine. I feel like we almost need to have nothing next to the ejection seat. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. These are these are the problems that we're facing. Like I'm I'm 99% sure like let's just put this here, right? This is with the wings. Does it even eject? I bet you it's going to get stuck even not moving. Yeah. They get stuck on the stupid wings. Like, I don't think they're stuck on anything else, just the wings. And that controller piece in the front. That sucks. So we can't even put wings there. We gotta clear all that out. Otherwise, there's no point in building a plane that doesn't eject at all. So, need a new method. So let's remove all these, first of all. Uh, 
I guess we can leave these ones back here. But watch, I bet you now it'll eject, right? No. Ugh. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Use a Pico Thruster. Push the Cedo with a Piston. Like, Piston first, I guess. I really wanted the seat to just get launched out of the compartment, though. Let me just see. Let me just see if we can fix this. It was working before we put everything else on, so... Are the thrusters not powerful enough anymore? Like, is that the issue? Like, what? what is going on? It was working. Like, what is it getting hung up on? Is it the front stuff? Like, the weight? The front? I wonder if this... Ugh. Excuse me, sorry. I wonder if it's these metal blocks. I bet you it's that metal block right there. That one that I just deleted and unjammed everything watch yep okay okay so we we'll only have two metal blocks in the front instead of okay that's fine so maybe we can put all the the slope pieces back it's hung up on my hairline listen my hair is amazing And by amazing, I mean absolutely terrible. It is the best haircut you can get for less than $20, okay? I, I just made so many people die right now. There's all these people who spend like $100 on a haircut and are going, What? You got a haircut for $20? What is wrong with you? All right. Okay, so let's let's clean this up then. So, got to remove the bottom metal pieces. So that one and that one. Okay, now it'll eject properly, hopefully. And then we'll put these back. To hopefully help lift it off a little bit and then it's going to need even more stuff in the front like that to help i don't know if that's going to be enough let's let's try this it's probably not going to fly like this but anyways um ejection seat uh, maybe we'll crank up the thrust a little bit. Who knows? Alright, uh, three, seven, pull up, pull up. Okay. Well, it ejects. That's awesome. That's, that's so cool. Okay, so it ejects, no problem. So it just needs more wings in the front. It's still struggling to pull up. It's still that's still a constant struggle for this thing. Okay, so let's let me I got an idea. I don't really like doing this because that's way too many wings. But I might need that many wings. I 
it might it might need that that amount of wings just to make this work uh, and then we'll cover that up crank these up whoops all right we got what are we trying to do we're trying to make this plane fly you should play scrap mechanic and make a jet with an ejector seat. Oh, that's a great idea. I think I think I'm gonna do that next stream, guys. I'm gonna make a jet with an ejection seat in scrap mechanic. Okay, so we can take off. That's cool. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Four deploys the gear up. That's sick. It still struggles so hard to pull up. But I mean, it's possible. And then six yaws, that works. Roll works. It just struggles on that that pulling up portion. Oh god, yeah, look, it can't even it pulls up so little. It's also lagging for some reason. It's got some weird collisions going on or something. We are we are not pulling up. We are not we are not pulling up. It's great. It's great. Such a wonderful, wonderful experience. Not enough thrust. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I think it needs more thrust. It's also got some weird collision going on. It's super laggy for some reason. Not anymore, but it was when we were flying. I don't know if it's these sloped sideways. Guys, let's just keep that uncovered for now. Uh, three, seven. It's not laggy now. Come on, pull up. Four. Definitely better with more thrust. But it's still, like, it still dips too much in the front. Like, see, if you let go... I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just needs bigger control surfaces. doesn't fly too bad though to be perfectly honest i mean it's okay it just needs to be able to pull up more it's fine we can fix the control services make it pull up more and then of course we can check does it eject nope nope that was bad it got stuck oh boy it gets stuck it gets uh it gets stuck okay so that's that's a problem oh we have two of these on the map i forgot to delete the old one no wonder it's lagging Probably try to calculate all these scripts for no reason. Hold on, let's go get that other one. Delete it. Yeah, canards are control services, but in the front. Yeah, I know. You put like little wings on the front that stick out the sides. I just I don't want to do it because I want it to be a delta wing without canards. But I mean, if we have to, that's what we'll do. And we'll have the canards linked into the pitch so that they help. They can rotate as well and help force the issue. Upgrade the trajectory. That sounds like such an awesome thing. First stream eyes, what's up? Yeah, I want to do pure delta. I mean, you can do it with canners in the front for sure. Like most most delta wings that you make in Kerbal, you have to put canners in the front because they just don't pitch up properly without it. Most deltas have canards anyways that's true i mean the concord had it didn't it did the concord have canards it was like the big commercial delta or delta plane i don't know if it had canards though uh no it didn't yeah the concord didn't it just ran straight without them so you know just saying guys ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, the Concord did not have canards. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Vulcan Bomber also didn't have canards. Yeah. They were also a lot bigger, though, like, in terms of Delta planes, if you think about it. Um, so I think the problem here with the ejection seat is this second layer of... Can we can we get up on the wing, please? This second layer of crap. I think this needs to go. I'm not sure if those wings are causing any interference. But I'm pretty sure if we do this, this should give us enough lift. 
if it doesn't get in the way. I don't know if it will or not. I mean, it'll look better when it's painted, too. It'll kind of hide it a little bit. Uh, here we go. Three, seven. It needs more control surface. That's problem number one. It also needs more speed. See, now it naturally wants to pitch up, so it just doesn't have enough control surface. All right, so let's we can fix that. Let's just turn around here. We can't turn around, apparently. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Something gets glitched. And then it starts lagging like crazy. I don't know what it is, but look, now it's constantly rolling to the one side. weird. It's really weird. I don't know what that is. I don't know why it's lagging, and I don't know what's stuck. And it's constantly spinning the one way. I can't roll out of this. What? Alright, that's fine. Let's eject. Well, that worked out well. That worked, that worked great. That worked so well. Okay. Obviously, this is a straight mess. Let's just get rid of all that. Boom, boom. Add some invisible thrusters to the wings on both sides. Oh, that's that's a good point. You could have that. It's a yeah, I know it's a jet boat. This is great, guys. Is the game worth buying at this point? I mean, scrapping is cool. I like the game, obviously, and then they just came out with challenge mode, which is a lot of fun. Um, which is just like you know, there's 40 different challenges to do. I did the first nine in um in the one video um but they were really really easy they were just like build a car build a car build a different car build a different car and pretty much everything was just build a car in some configuration um but i'm sure they're gonna get more difficult which is exciting so i think the problem here there's a few problems number one all this stuff needs to go this is all this stuff on the second level that's not good it's just jamming it up for sure that needs to go, okay? Problem number one. Problem number two, this whole control surface situation on the back is just an issue. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of it all. And we're gonna fix it. Okay, I think this will be the solution. Because now if we do like one layer and then another one. And then we just kind of, right, stretch that out. And then now we'll layer it. So like that's pitch and that's roll. So see, roll will do all of it and then pitch would do... Um, the whole thing as well. That one needs to flip. So if we do pitch, we've got the whole thing, and now if we pitch and roll, it should still work because the whole thing is technically pitched up, so it's kind of adding the two values together. This should, this should work, I think, provided it can fly. And let's increase our thrust. And then if this works, we'll paint it. 
I know everyone wants spud guns and explosives that fall off it, but I don't think I can actually fit explosives off of this. Um, I don't think I have room in the jet to actually put explosives. I could probably put some spud guns on a button, but I don't, like, there's no room. It's like, the whole fuselage is full of wings and stuff. I'll probably need even more wings, but anyways. Uh, seven, here we go. Get some speed. Come on, up. Oh yeah, okay, so it takes off. Flies a lot better now. Put those up. Sick. Alright, so now, yeah, now look at this. Now it actually has some control. It's got a big control surface. Still a little bit of a struggle to pull up, to be perfectly honest, but... Definitely better than it was. And I mean, it's a pure delta, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so let's see what happens if we eject now. Does it work? Yes! Yes, it works! Yes! That's so cool! That's so good! Finally! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm so fucking... Don't worry guys, my voice isn't actually crashing. Or cracking. If I could, it's just... Yeah. I'm so excited, thank goodness. I was like two and a half hours of just ridiculous. So bad. Alright, let's try it again. Let's fly again. Let's see if we can eject again here. That's so cool. Alright, here we go. Uh, three, seven, lift off, four, nice. Looks cool. I like it. I know it looked kind of hot doggy before. It still looks kind of like a hot dog, but I think it looks okay. It's a little laggy sometimes, though. I think the wings mod is just calculating too much. I'm not sure. And it does have a natural kind of lift off now. It kind of naturally pulls up a little bit, but... I'm gonna leave that in because I kind of need that. Otherwise, you can't take off the runway, so... We're not going to get rid of that. Not really that big a deal. Alright, here we go. Now let's see if we can... Can we pull up? Can we... Ready? Really high up. And... Hit the big button, number two. Eject. So cool. Then the plane crashes. And we're heavier in the front, so we just kind of... That's so good! That's so cool. Yeah, refresh, guys. If, you're, if your stream's not working, just hit refresh. It's fine. Trust me. We've only dropped 16,000 frames this whole time. <laughs> which is still kind of bad, but... It's, uh... Yeah. I still gotta play around with some stream settings. It's definitely better now that I have better internet, but I definitely gotta play around with some settings and, and fix it a little bit. So, let's uh, paint this thing, shall we? That's cool. That's so cool. Okay, obviously, this is going to get painted um, military gray. I'm not... There's no no question about it. Nice, nice gray. Like that, I think. Don't worry, I'll put some details on it, but like I think I think it just needs to be gray to look kind of more like a jet. It's, it's more like a test experimental jet. I mean it's a working ejection seat, which is kinda of cool. They're a little excessive. I don't think you need an ejection seat this big, but I mean, it would be nice to make it smaller. Like, you need so much cockpit space just to fit in that tiny, like, the tiny little ejection seat. So that's kind of the thing. Get all that. Paint this.
Get that. I love painting. It's so much fun. That's the other thing I love about Stormworks. They have an actual, like, all paint button, and you can just paint everything in one straight shot. So you can make your whole creation and then paint it, and it's like, oh, thank goodness. Whereas in Scrap Mechanic, you have to, you know, paint everything piece by piece. Which is fine. There's nothing, I mean, it just takes time, that's all, where you could just click one button and then just do your detail work, but... Probably paint those black, to be perfectly honest, but we'll see. Actually, no, because they'll blend in with the wing if they're gray. Make the leading edge black? Like, the leading edge of the wings? Yeah, I can try. I don't know how much we can actually do, though, because of the... It's the the way the... Um, like, the paint tool paints a whole object, right? But we can take a look at what that looks like. Yeah, because, like, look, if we do this black, watch. We have to paint that. Like you can't... You know what I mean? Like, you can't paint. It's kind of, kind of unfortunate. Whoops. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, my, my hot dog fuselage doesn't look nearly as bad anymore. I mean, it still looks bad, but it's not as bad as it was. So I'm kind of excited about that. Paint that black. Whoops. Whoops. You know what? I'm not. Eh, I'm gonna paint these little pieces under here, I think, and then that'll be it. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna paint all this logic, cause some of it has to stay orange and some of it doesn't. But um, we could just at least paint those and then cover this back up. There we go. Sick. Oh no, I. painted it oh. Oh. oh my god get come get get why you never dumb Stupid. It's fine. We're calm. We're cool. We're calm. We're collected. We're we're okay. We're okay, guys. We're okay. We are having a good day today. We are going to repaint this. We're not going to repaint it. No, we never painted it the first time. We never painted it the first time. It's, it's, it's fine. I'm just going to paint it all over again. Paint it all over again. Just keep clicking the button. Just keep clicking it as we go over and paint it every time. Because the stupid ejection seat. Who wanted an ejection seat? I don't even know, but we're gonna have an ejection seat. Stupid plane. Got a stupid, stupid plane. Stupid. It's, it's fine. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it. It's gonna look nice and pretty. It's gonna be a nice, pretty plane when we're done. 
It's gonna be so pretty. It's gonna be the prettiest plane of them all. All right, no, I'm not actually going insane. <laughs> Khan is currently dying inside. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much where it's at, guys. I, I was so dumb. I knew it. I hit the eject button and it's like, no, and there's no safety on it. So it's just like, you hit it and you're done. It's fine. It's okay. We'll repaint it. We're good. Look at look at how beautiful this plane looks. There we go. Painted that. And then we'll paint this. And that, and that, and we'll lower this guy down and jump up on top, and then we'll paint these gray. And that needs to be gray. That needs room. That needs to be all gray. By the way, guys, do you guys notice Moombo was in chat? I know a lot of people are asking if Moombo was dead. Uh, Moombo was in chat. I don't know if he's still in chat. Somebody can, like, at Moombo and find out if he's still in chat or not. But I know I saw his name there for a second. So he's obviously not dead or someone hacked his account. These are the two options. I mean, he could still be dead, I guess, and someone took over his account. No, not at. Oh, my God, Scrubbish. Scrubbish with the at Moombo. This is actually how I practice uh, shooting in like PUBG. You know, you just just spend a lot of time painting in scrap mechanic, and it's all the same skill. Just transfers right over. I already painted under there, right? Yeah, good enough. And we'll paint all this black on the interior here because it'll just kind of blend in better. Alright. Alright, I think that's it. I think I think that's it. We're gonna save this. What? Why is that? Okay, that was weird. Ejection seat. Guys, I'm not getting any lag. If you're getting lag, just hit the refresh button. But it doesn't matter. Perfect. Three. Seven. Lift off. I mean, it takes off like a real plane, which is kind of cool. What does it look like in first person? Oh, that's pretty good. This is awesome. It's very difficult to fly in first person, I'm not going to lie. Oh boy, don't hit the tree. Eject! Oh, that, that got stuck on the tree too. It's, uh, it's fine. Can I, can I jump in? I need to jump in, please. There we go. Uh, three and seven. There we go. We'll just, it's a underwater flying plane. 
How old am I? You act like a five-year-old with a 1,000 IQ. It's confusing. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I'm actually, like, seven. That's why it makes, like, I'm a five-year-old. But not really. Nah, I just like to have fun. How does the ejection seek work? So, it uses a decoupler from the mod pack and a thruster on it. And when you hit the button, it activates the thruster as well as the decoupler. And there's a quarter second delay so that it can eject the glass off first and then it ejects the seat. And they both work on the same principle. Um, let's see if we can get it to eject here. Alright, here we go. Nice and high up. Let's try it. And three, two, one. Eject. Awesome. So good. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. And it works. It actually, like, launches your seat right out. Jacked out to safety, and you're fine. Look at that. And then you get killed by all the farm bots. But definitely a cool build. I think it's great. I mean, I, I think I could use some improvements. It definitely needs to be a bigger jet if we want to put more stuff in it, like explosives and all that, and, like, guns and everything else. I mean, I guess we could mount some spud guns to it. But I definitely would like to make a jet that's bigger, has rockets and stuff like that. And uh, could explode. Like, a multiplayer version of this would be cool. Something you could dogfight with and have ejection seats. But I still think this looks pretty cool just as a jet. I mean, it actually it doesn't look half bad. Considering it's, like, mostly vanilla and I made it. If someone else made it, it would be terrible. But because I made it, it actually looks pretty good. Because, um... I'm not saying because I made it, it looks good. I'm saying because normally the stuff I make is absolute garbage. So at least this, compared to absolute garbage, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's it's still pretty trash. I'm not going to lie. But I'll upload it to the workshop anyways because it's kind of cool. And uh, it's my, you know, prototype ejection seat version 1. I'll definitely make a better ejection plane at some point in time. I think it's not bad though. I mean, it definitely works. And we can be, you know, just driving in any direction we want. And just go, alright, perfect. Heads up. Perfect. And eject. That's so good. Activate them parachutes. That's cool. Awesome. But yeah, I'll definitely upload it to the workshop if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll post the link somewhere. Um, actually, I'll post the link when this video processes. I'll post the top link. Like, I'll post the workshop link to it in the top of this video. Um, but I can do that right now. I'll upload it to the workshop. And apparently, Moombo joined my game. Hello. Hello, hello, Moombo. Oh, can I do a landing? I bet you I can land. Let's see if we can land this plane. Let's get rid of this other one. I don't know if we can land this plane or not. Let's get rid of this one. See if we... What is Moombo? Moombo probably has his own stuff that's better than my stuff. Let's see what, what happens if I... Oh, hello, Moombo. Do you want to you want to put a seat on my seat? What's, what's he doing? Hi, Moombo. Hi, Moombo. Hi. What's up? He's just judging me. I don't know. He's okay. Stranger, stranger danger. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. All right, Moombo, we're, we got to land the plane. I got to land the plane. Okay. So let's loop it around. If I could fly, that would be a whole other thing. Alright, let's see if we can land it here. We definitely can. So 7 is the button to turn off the stuff. Alright, so here we go. We come in. Come in. Come in. Look at this landing. Look at this landing. 7, turn that off. Look at that. First try. And then eject. Just Oh, the ejection seat got stuck. Okay, well, sometimes it gets stuck, but for the most part, it seems to work. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. It ejects. Perfect. And then here's Moombo. Awesome. But anyways, guys, I am going to end the stream there. It's been like almost three hours, two hours, 45 minutes. Uh, I will upload this to the workshop, and then I'll post the link in the stream. Like when it becomes a video, it'll get processed, and then I'll be able to put comments, and I'll put it as the top comment, and I'll pin it as the comment so you guys can click the link and download it. It's definitely a prototype version. There's definitely some things I would improve on it, but for being built in three hours, not too bad. But of course, hit that like button down below. Let me know what you guys think of the build in the comments. 
And, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, join the Discord as well. There should be a link in the description of the stream. I'll be streaming a little bit more now. We've got better internet now, thank goodness. So we can actually stream at better quality. And uh, aside from the few times that YouTube decides to lag out, it's actually a lot better, I find. So, of course, let me know what your ideas are in the comments down below or in Discord. You know, let me know about uh, other builds, questions and suggestions. I always go look through that to see other build ideas. This one came from, I think, someone in Discord or a YouTube comment. I'm not sure. But, of course, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream, video, stream, thing, whatever it was. And we'll see you all next time. Bye!